Good morning. I wanted to give you a tour of this transition site here at SACID. First, we'll take a look outside where the buses will come, and then we'll head inside, look at our space, and then we'll go take a tour of the whole building. This is where the buses will come, out here on the back side of the building. There's a lot of vans parked there now, just from uh, summer school and getting ready for the fall. So the buses will drop off right here by these white lines and back that away. Here's our entrance, entrance number three. Teachers will have a fob to get in the building, so we are very safe in our building. This is the vestibule. If it's raining, we put our umbrellas here. We go through these doors, and here's beautiful pictures of students. And then here's our space. This is a storage room. See the lights come on as you walk in. This is our student lockers, or vestibule, or or whatever you want to say, and then student and student mailbox. These are teachers' desks. That's baby Luca pictures. These are all teachers' desks right over here. There's a Vogue desk. If you have a Vogue job, you'll go out and uh, pick up your binder and then go to work. This is our student services, our nurses' desk. Sometimes Miss Jude, the social worker, will have students come in here to chat about things, but generally it's just where the nurse works. As we head down the hallway, there's t-shirts from our various workplaces and students at work. This is room 120. This is where we do some academics, reading, math. Um, there's a mat table if somebody needs to take a little relaxation. We don't have axe throwing as a normal activity that's left over from outdoor ed. It's room 120. Outside room 120, teacher's desk. And one of our students has a food blog. So he put his food blog pictures up there. Again, more teacher desk. Staff desk. This is room 119. Sometimes we call it the fish room. We do a lot of vocational work in here and some reading and math, some sorting. And this is where we have the fish tank. The fish went home for the summer. They'll be back though, and then we have a nice little relaxation area if you need to take a little rest or maybe play some cards or Uno or something. This is our VOC and VAN schedule of what VAN, TRO1, TRO2, is going to go where, with who, and for what. It's pretty empty now because it's summer. These are announcements. And then our staff schedule of what staff person is going to work with what student or students on which day. Here's our attendance board for the A group. The B group and the C group, different students are in different groups. This is Miss Gia's desk. She's not here because she's home for the summer. This is room 117. If we do chair yoga, we generally do chair yoga in here. This is another classroom. If students come in, this is more of a table kind of a workroom where students do vocational and get ready for owner center and things like that. Here's our student kitchen. Here's our student kitchen. We have a, re a real kitchen, cabinets, dishwasher. Like I said, it's pretty empty now. This is summer. Students do cooking, do cleaning, do dishwashing, empty the dish, excuse me, empty the dishwasher. We have a washer and dryer. We do a lot of laundry. More cabinets for storage. And then back here is the teacher kitchen 
where the teachers prepare your lunch and breakfast. This is our shopping board and directions on how to clean our tables. Now we're heading into room 112, which is the multi-purpose room. There's generally more stuff out. It's set up for summer school. There's our schedules, our daily schedules. And then every morning after breakfast, we come in here. We say the pledge. We listen to the morning meeting song. And we get ready for the day. We talk about schedules, talk about who's going to what the lunch is for the day. And then in this room, we also have our wrap party at the end of the day where we celebrate the good things that happened that day and get ready to go home. This is another storage room, room 113, the equipment room. There's art supplies and more Vogue supplies, things like that in there. Our monthly planner and calendar where we talk about birthdays, what's going to happen next week or next month. This is our other bathroom, room 108, pretty much the same. Sorry about the spin. This is room 109. This is our micro business. This is where students come to make items that we sell in our micro business at our craft sales. Um, sometimes teachers and people in the building come down and want to buy stuff. If you want to buy something for your parents, you could do that also. And then there's the schedule. Table with different numbers, different people's names, and what they're supposed to do when they come in the micro business. If it's beading or labeling envelopes, label bags, cut birthday cards, or a lot of other things. Okay, and that's the door to the hallway. These doors are shut during the day, just so that we're safe. And everybody knows where they're going. These are more bathrooms, more staff than student bathrooms. And this is the hallway where at the end of the day you'll exit. I'll show you some of the other spaces. This is down. There's our space, our transition space, our regular space. And then over here is some other spaces I'd like to show you. This is a teacher break room. Sometimes students have had lunch in here too, though. There's our vending machine. It's empty for the summer, but we'll fill it in the fall. And we count the money. We have to figure out what we have to buy and put things back in it. It's very fun. Here's another bathroom. So there's plenty of bathrooms. This is audiology, deaf and hard of hearing, visually impaired offices. If you have audiological services, you'll come in here, check in with the secretary who's not here because it's summertime. And then you'll go in there for your audiological appointment. The people in here are very nice to us. Here's another meeting room. This is if where we normally have IEPs and progress reviews and stuff, of which, of course, you're invited. This they call this, they call this room the PLC for the training big training room. We call it the party room because we have a lot of our parties in here. We have, um, sometimes we'll do a rap party. Sometimes we'll come in here and play um, games. Sometimes we'll do a big bingo up on the board there. There's, a, there's three projectors that project onto the wall. And sometimes we come in here and have a big, like a bus driver party invite all the bus drivers and come on in. Okay. Sometimes also we have to come in here because you can see some people were messy at a meeting. 
sometimes we come in here for Miss Anita and clean up, straighten the tables, wipe the tables, put the chairs back. Okay, that's the training room. Inside the training room, there is a, I call it the double secret exit through this door. Make a left. And yes, that is our transition space right ahead of you. And there is the exit. Now I'd like to take you upstairs. And I'll show you what's upstairs. This is the front entrance. If parents come for a meeting or people come, they can park out here and come in that door. Then they go upstairs to the front desk. They'll go upstairs to the, to the front desk and check in, and then somebody will help them find where they should go. This is the main lobby. This is the boardroom with a great big table for meetings. Sometimes we have IEP meetings up here, but only if it's ginormous. This is where we display some student art. Right now it is things from Southeast and Directions. Okay, and there's the door to go back downstairs. And this way, there's more pictures of baby Luca. This is multi-needs and stars office. This is where the laminator is. And then there's more offices. Miss Tina's office is over there. Sometimes we come up here, get the paper cart. There's usually paper on there. And then we deliver copy machine paper to the whole building, to all the copiers. There's more offices for people to work up here. Nurse Sherry's office is right there. She has a desk. And there's more conference rooms. Now we're heading down the hallway towards OTPT. OTPT and assistive tech. Again, there's not many people here, hardly anybody here today because it's summer. This is the OTPT offices. Sometimes we come up here and clean things for them so they're all nice and clean for students to use. Sometimes we come up here and clean all the phones and the desks and the tables for them. Try to keep everybody clean and happy and healthy, okay? Here's the OTPT secretary and boss's desks. Sometimes we have to deliver mail to Rose and Julene and Cheryl Huberly. Now we're outside of OTPT and we're heading this way. There's more bathrooms and there's a door to go downstairs. This is the other door to the boardroom. Student support, it's pretty dark. The lights must be turned off. Oh, and we deliver copy machine paper to them. This is where 
Miss Claire's desk is, Mr. Jason. This is the break room. Sometimes we come up here and straighten the chairs, clean the desks. Sometimes come up here and take a little break. Maybe have a cup of coffee. And then this is the hallway with no name. It has no name. This is where Miss Christie's office is. There's more copy machine paper that we deliver. We'll go around the outside. Okay. These are more offices. More offices for people. There's the big boss's office. That's Dr. McGuffin's office. I don't think she's here today. But if the doors are open, usually we can stick our head in and say hi. There's the other way. We just went around in a circle. There's Miss Christine's office, Miss Nan's, Miss Lynn's, and Miss Anita's here today. She's, she's the only person here today. <laughs> who is, who am I talking to? We're taking a tour because oh. we have some new students coming in. Here's another sitting area. We come up here and water the plants sometimes. And then we head back out this way. And here's the hallway. And here is the main desk right there. Usually it's Miss Muffin or Miss Dana or somebody sitting here checking people in and making sure they know where they're going. And then there's the door to go back downstairs to our space. <laughs> 